Well, 16 days to Christmas and uh, we need to get the Christmas cards produced. So I'm going to dive straight in and show you how to produce four ways of um, using your original painting to create Christmas cards. Okay, I'm going to start off with what I would call the fourth best choice I would pick. Um, and this is one here where you'll see that I've done a painting of uh, a church scene, the snow scene, and what you can do is you can, um, there's two things you can do here, you can either take your original painting to a printer locally and they will produce cards for you, or you can, um, if you do have a printer, you can print them yourself onto blank cards. Now, um, here's, I'm just going to show you this, there's a resultant card that I produced, I think it was last year's one. Um, that's the blank card there, you just buy them in packs, you get about 20 a pack with envelopes. And what you do is then, um, on your printer, set the screen to the size of the card, and then in this one you'll see that I've used about a half inch border. And you basically just print them out like this. Now, I know that's the original painting, this is a print, so it's still quite effective, but I think you can do better than that, and I'll show you with the three remaining choices that I have. Well, you may recall in uh, the last video that I did, um, I painted two winter scenes to choose um, for your Christmas cards, and so the third best method I would um, think would be presentable to your family and friends is for you to actually produce the painting on these little cards that I mentioned previously. So I'm going to show you um, just how to paint this on here. The paper's good enough, it's thick enough, and you can actually then um, produce original paintings on the cards. So here's the um, card that I showed you. You can just paint on the plain blank cards that you can buy. So I'll just about finish this one. So I'll just show you. I'm going to put the shadows in and that will be that one finished. So I've mixed up a, a grey colour and I'm just going to put this in here, just going across with the, the brush. The light's coming from the, the right hand side. So, uh, as you can see, it's very quick, quickly done. It's a little bit more dark. The, the base here and put another one up here and there we go that will do that one so this is um an original painting now that you have. You've got a snow scene on a blank card that you've painted, so it's original. So that would be quite attractive to your family and friends. So you decide if you prefer to do this. And um, there's just one other thing that I think is always quite attractive is um, I like to put my name down in the corner and I usually paint it in red. I just feel red at Christmas time. Right, I've got a rigor, a fine rigor brush here. I'm going to see if I can get my initial and my name. Just let you see that a bit better. Right, here we go. Just do it quite quick, don't um, take too much time over it. There we go, that'll do. Finished. 
The second best um, card I think I would take um, would be showing you how to present to paint this or this onto a piece of paper, cut it out and then actually just have it sitting in here and I'm just going to do that. Now here's um, the painting that I did, you can see it's the same one uh, as the one on the left and what I've done is um, I've taken the actual size of the, the front of the card, measured it and I've taken about a half an inch all the way around and painted the the scene shorter. Now, just one little bonus here for um, for complete beginners. Um, this piece of paper, I um, used this. I bought one of these pads. I'm just going to show you this. Bought one of these pads here for. Um, basic beginner startup. It's actually practice paper and you get 25 sheets for um, just over £6. I think it works out about 25 pence a sheet and I was quite pleasantly pleased with that. Um, and so what I'm really saying is that if you're a beginner, rather than go and spend um, you know, you could be up to £12-£15 for a a pad of um, heavier quality watercolour painting paper um, this would do you fine and I'm just going to um, cut this out now and stick it on here and show you what that looks like so here's the painting I've cut it out now and what I'm going to do is just stick it on the, the plain card I'll zoom out a bit. I'm just using some Pritt stick to get that at your local stationery office. So what I'm going to do is just put some across. In the middle. And just place it in the centre of the card. Right, so there's this one. I quite like that. I think that's different. It's a change. It's different from that one that just did minutes ago. There's that one. That's, that's nice. That's the original. I just feel that one's got a little bit more appeal to it. Anyway, if you can get your hands on some of this um, very cheap um, practice paper I would suggest you, you could try that. It's, it's, I think it's excellent value. So that's the second most popular card. And this was my favourite. Uh, quite like this style. Um, you see that I've painted this scene in smaller version. Um, I painted about uh, eight in the one go, this size. And you buy these little cards which you can open up and um, just put the painting inside, get some of the Pritt stick again and uh, just some on here and shut it down and what you end up with is cards like this I've printed little it's inside this best wishes, this is to my daughter and her family from mum and dad so um, so there you go, four different types of um, Christmas cards that you can paint. I think um, once you get some of these done and give them out to your family and very close friends then they'll really appreciate that. Something different at Christmas. So 
you decide which one you want. Um, you can go from a printed card, this one here, or you can um, go for painting one straight onto the blank card, or you can go for um, painting it and then taping it, uh, sticking it on the front of the card, or you could go for this type. Um, it's up to you, you decide. Um, they're all equally attractive. Your turn now, so get the paints out, um, pick a nice simple scene that there's no scene that you think you could manage and um, try and get uh, some cards printed out, painted out so that you can um, hand them out to your family and friends and they'll be super impressed with your efforts. So if you enjoyed the video please um, press like or if better if you'd like to subscribe to the channel it would be much appreciated. So until the next time, thanks for watching.